What's up, everybody? Dan here from nextronal.com, your WordPress SEO and internet marketing expert. Today, I'm going to be talking about a couple services that I offer through my website at nextronal.com. The first of which is the WordPress website checkup. Now, this service is a website audit where we'll rip your website apart. We will look at site performance, usability, SEO. You will get expert advice on how to improve your overall online presence. Now, if you're a site owner or a business owner and you're getting little to no traffic or maybe you hired a web developer or an agency and you're not sure whether they did everything they were supposed to do you know to build your online presence then this service can be extremely beneficial now I've also found in performing these website audits that you know a lot of web developers might skip uh, page speed or you know they might not set up the the website with you know Google Webmaster tools there's a lot of things that web developers are not doing because maybe they're not well versed in SEO and internet marketing they're good at building websites but what's the point of having a website if nobody can find you so currently we're offering the service for two hundred and ninety nine dollars you'll get a thirty minute phone call where we'll review the findings together and you'll get a report which you can take to your web developer you can take it to another agency or you can hire an expert at nextronal.com we'll make sure that you're well taken care of and we'll look after those issues for you now today I went to go check my mail and uh, I opened my mailbox and this is the amount of flyers that I found today and you know what I do when I get these flyers they go straight to the blue box you know I don't even bother going through them and what I'm getting at is a lot of companies are putting a huge push behind their print advertising it's 2018 and if if you look at a lot of these websites that are in these flyers a lot of them are not mobile friendly you know they they load slowly there was even one ad that had a domain that didn't even resolve to a website so like what was the point of putting your domain in your ad you know if it isn't even going to resolve to a website now I'm not saying print advertising is dead you know like if you're a business that you know loves to kill trees I mean that's totally up to you but it's time it's 2018 you know like it's time to focus on your internet marketing presence because when people are searching for services you know what they're using now they're using their mobile phone because mobile has now surpassed desktop search you know they're going on Google and they're looking for HVAC New Market, WordPress Development Toronto, and that's how people are finding these companies. Now, the next service I want to talk to you guys about is our Page Speed Optimization Service, and this is one of our more popular services that we offer. And we've actually helped a lot of other web development companies and SEO companies improve on their websites and their clients' websites. I also find that this is a factor that tends to be overlooked by a lot of web developers. It's in fact a standard that we use here at nexttoronto.com when we develop websites. And why? Because number one, PageSpeed is actually a, a factor that's considered by Google when they're ranking websites. And number two, it actually affects how visitors respond to your website. If your website loads slowly, chances are they're gonna leave your website and go to one of your competitors' websites. If it loads quickly, they're probably gonna stay on your website a lot longer. In fact, a one second reduction in page speed can actually increase your sales up to 10%. So let's just say you had a website that was earning $100 a day. A one second delay can cost your, can cost your business $3,000 a year. Now, in my opinion, a normal page speed is about three to five seconds. You know, if you're a photographer, chances are you're probably going to have high resolution images on your website because you want to show off your work. So I can understand if your website takes a little bit longer to load. But if you're an e commerce website, chances are you want your website loading quickly. So this is definitely something you might want to consider. Now, factors that typically affect slow loading time range from high resolution images, uh, which WordPress plugins were installed or poorly written code, or even, you know, what hosting package your website resides on, among several other factors. Now, if you're interested in testing out your page speed, there's several tools available on the internet like gtmetrics.com or Google Insights. I'm actually going to leave a link in the description below for... Um, the site speed 
tool on Pingdom so you can test out your site speed. If you're interested in any of our services, feel free to reach out through our website at www.nextoronto.com. Don't forget to add me on Twitter at Next Toronto. And that's it for today, guys. Take care. Bye.